Hey, how you doing? Another MPC video, JJOSXL. Today I want to talk about the TC, timing correct. Another word or words for quantizing. Okay, quantizing, timing correct. This is where it happens on this MPC with JJOSXL. Here are the values going in. When you tap in a beat, this is going through here. This is what it's hitting to timing correct you. Or not, you can turn it off. So you, your values are from 1.8, you have a triplet, 116, triplet, 132, triplet, and then off. Turn that puppy right off. I keep it at 116. And then you have strength, which is very cool because it go from 100, which is robot perfectly on the grid all the way down to zero which is nothing which is turned off so basically zero is the same as off so I keep mine at about 85 because I like a little bit of slop okay swing goes from 50 to 75 okay I keep it at about 55 just because I like a little oomph in there um, Shift timing will shift all the notes forward or backwards from the beat. Okay, it calls it later. Okay, it goes from 1 to 11. I'm not, I don't know what the increments are as far as the math, but I know that 1 and 2 are pretty minuscule. So if you have a, um, and it'll go earlier too, same amount. So if you have a, um, a bass part that needs to lay back a little bit, maybe Maybe start with this, just minus one, and see how that feels. You know, go one step at a time. Uh, basically, the um, quantizing is undoable via this guy, your undo button. Uh, but the uh, shift timing is not, from what I've been able to gather. So be careful. Uh, so after you tap in your beat, if you find you need a little more timing correct, you open this thing up, and then you can readjust these values and hit fix. And when you hit fix, you have this great, uh, you can choose the bar and the beats and the ticks um, that you want to time and correct and you can choose your notes and you can tap your pads in uh, you can select them here and you can tap them in so to to put it in there you tap it once to take it out you tap it again okay and then do it change it permanently well, not necessarily. It, it'll change the um, it'll change the shift timing permanently, from what I can gather. But it won't change this permanently. You can always undo it here. So it's pretty basic, but it's important to know before you start your beat. You know, set your tempo and set your timing correct. Make sure you got that nailed because that's going to affect your beat big time. All right, peace out.